What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music. Today I want to talk about this record right here. This is Leon Vol- <sighs> What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music. Today I want to talk about this record right here. This is Leon Vinehall's Music for the Uninvited released in 2014 on 3024 Records, which I believe is Martin's label. This was a record that I was really excited to get my hands on. I had heard this track off of here, the It's Just the House Dupree, and it immediately sold me on this record. And also on top of that, before grabbing this, I had picked up his brother's sister 12 inch that he had put out on August records and I really like the sound on this as well as last year I picked up Leon Vinehall's Nothing Is Still album so I was really sort of excited to hear how he went and sort of the sound that he had created for himself starting from here and getting all the way to here because this album sort of sits right towards the sort of beginnings of his career and I was also sort of curious to hear whether or not Leon Vinehall could make a compelling house album and and now that I've given it quite a few listens, I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions of this record with you guys and let you know whether or not I think it's worth checking out. So with that little introduction out of the way, let's get into this guy. I can't really say all that much in terms of background about Leon Vinehall because I don't really know that much about him. It seems as far as I could tell that his career sort of started in the 2010s and over the course of this decade, Leon Vinehall has been slowly building his name as not only a producer, but also as a DJ and just a general tastemaker in, in general. I think my first introduction to Leon Vinehall actually was a very casual boiler room that he had done where they were going through records in his collection, and Leon Vinehall seems to have a uh, pretty, pretty pristine record collection and seems to be a man of good taste. But my main interest in this record came from two things. One, it was really hard to get a hold of for the longest time. I've known about this record for at least the last four or so years, and the main reason that I wanted to get it was one of the tracks on here, It's Just House of Dupree, really stood out as a track that I could use in my house sets. And I really just liked the sound on it. The way he used that sample that is probably more known for being flipped by Jay Dilla for his track, uh, So Far To Go Off Of The Shining, just really, really struck me because I didn't really think that you could flip it in, put it into sort of a house context. And I thought he really did that in a great way. So, and also being that for the longest time that I couldn't get my hands on it, it just sort of slowly built up the hype for this record for the longest time. So when I saw that a copy of this album had become available on the place where I buy my records, Shop Jet Set, I figured I should pick it up and give it a listen for myself. And I gotta say, I was not disappointed. I'm generally pretty weary and sort of reluctant to pick up the house albums because I generally find that the framework for house music doesn't really hold my interest over the course of a full-length album, but I found myself really enjoying this record. I think that's largely just due to the quality of Leon Vinehall's production skills. Everything is so incredibly lusciously mixed on this record, from his employment of strings on a lot of his tracks, specifically on the opener, to the way that the, the sort of sonic details in his kicks and hi-hats and synths and the smattering of sampling that's in this record. I just really like Leon Vinehall's sound. It just seems so full and so rich and it really makes these tracks so engaging to listen to. I really like the way that this album starts off with a track inside the Deku Tree, which is a nice little mood setter of an intro with it it's very playful use of synths and strings, and I really like the sort of mix of organic sounds with the more electronic elements, which goes into one of the deeper tracks on here, Good Thing, which has like a nice soulful house vibe, but at the same time has this sort of UK bass vibe going for it with a really hard bass line and some really just chunky hi-hats 
I'd say one thing that this track sort of introduced that's sort of consistent throughout this record is while Leon Vinehall definitely employs a lot of layering, which is pretty common with a lot of electronic music, it's done in such a way that it never feels like one element is repeated too much and makes it too repetitive where it becomes kind of a chore to listen to or just too monotonous or too samey. Leon Vinehall does a really, really good job of knowing when to bring elements in, when to take elements out, and in general, just provide a nice sense of musical progression throughout all the tracks and keep them interesting throughout some of the song's lengthy run times. Because some of the tracks on here do tend to run between five to six to seven minutes long. From there, we get into Be Brave, Clench Fists, which is a nice little mood piece, and it sort of brings the energy down from the more up-tempo and higher energy sound, uh, 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 energy sounds of good thing, which definitely feels like it's a little bit more club friendly, which leads into what is one of my favorite tracks on here, Pure Children. I really, really like the sound of this song because it, it's just got this really tension building, almost horror movie-esque uh, string intro that leads into this absolute slammer of a house track that features these really shredded up synth sounds that really give the song a really granular and really just gritty sound to it. It's not very, it's not really heavy on melody, but there's just enough sonic texture in this track that it really is one of the standout tracks on here. And I just, I like that there's just this nice amount of oomph, 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 oomph in the track that really gives it a nice bump. And I think on a pretty discerning dance floor, you get away with playing a track like that. Moving on from there, you've got the only song on here that has an entire side of a record devoted to it, which is It's Just House of Dupree, which is so obviously a nod to American, specifically more like Chicago house. And I don't, I, I don't even know how to describe it and do, do it and do, do it and do, do the track justice. I'm going to leave a link for it so you can check it out for yourself. But it is an absolute banger of a track. And definitely, if you were to buy this album for one track alone, I wouldn't fault you for it because it's just House of Dupree is totally worth the admission alone. And then the album sort of takes a different turn, once again, sort of going from more club friendly tracks or more like heavy hitting tracks to sort of more mellowed out mood pieces. It moves into the track Christ Air, which almost has this halftime bass music shuffle. And it constantly keeps teasing you with this build that actually never comes and I, I've always been a fan of tracks that show restraint and instead of giving you exactly what you think is coming it actually pulls the rug out from underneath you and never actually gives you that it's got this nice little percolating percussion it's got this really really nice bass line to it and just an overall very pleasant melody that like I said really feels like it's gonna hit you over the head with something hard and ultimately leaves you wanting it but never gives it to you and I, I actually really appreciate it when music producers do stuff like that. Then the album finishes up on the track Saint Sinclair which is a beautiful nice little ambient album closer. It's got some nice pleasant keys to it, very warm atmosphere and once again much like Saint Sinclair it has these little teases of going into some harder hitting stuff that never really does but overall it just shows that Leon Von Hall is perfectly capable of restraint and also shows that it's pretty versatile as a music producer and is capable of making tracks that are perfectly suited to the dance floor but also perfectly detailed and compelling to listen to in a home listening setting as well. And overall I walked away from this album feeling pretty positive about it. I really don't have any complaints about it other than maybe I wish it was a little bit longer. Clocking in and just under 40 minutes. The album feels like it could have used a few more tracks instead of just being an EP. I feel like being some of the ideas on here because it's apparently a concept album based around the trips that Leon Vinehall used to take in his mom's car and listening to cassettes. You can hear some elements of that in some of the tracks because you can hear the clicking of the cassette and might actually tickle your nostalgia bone a little bit. I feel like the overall concept maybe could have been pushed a little bit harder 
and I feel like overall the album just could have been a little bit longer, but these are honestly pretty minor nitpicks for what is otherwise a immaculately produced album full of great sonic details, full of dynamic tracks. It's hard hitting when it wants to be, it's soft when it wants to be, it's ambient, it's moody, playful. It has pretty much every element that I look for when I listen to electronic music. And this is definitely one of those records where I have to agree with the critics on. It's highly recommended. Definitely worth checking out. If you already picked up his uh, Nothing Is Still album, you're definitely going to find a lot to like with this record. And uh, yeah, Leon Vinehold, Music for the Uninvited, gets a pretty heavy recommendation from me. Definitely grab it on vinyl if you can. It's really loudly pressed, so it's definitely playable in a club environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what else to say about that other than definitely pick this guy up. So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. If you've checked out this album, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. If you wanna hear this record for yourself, please head over to my WordPress or Steemit blogs because that's where I put the audio links so you can check out any of the records that I talk about on this channel. And also please head over to my Mixcloud account because that's where I post Raw Select Radio, which is basically the audio component of this whole raw Raw Select, YouTube, Raw Select Music, YouTube channel, blog, whatever. Links for that stuff is always down in the description. Head over there, check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So until then, peace out.